In January 2021, a group on Reddit began to make posts about Melvin's specific investments. Many of these posts were laced with anti-Semitic slurs directed at me and others. The post said things like, it's very clear we need a second Holocaust. The Jews can't keep getting away with this. Others sent similarly profane and racist text messages to me. Reddit's moderation system starts with our content policy, the platform-wide rules which all communities must follow. These rules prohibit hate, harassment, bullying, and illegal activity on Reddit, and they are enforced by Reddit's anti-evil team, which is composed of engineers, data scientists, and other specialists. This team searched high and low for the specific comment mentioned in the previous testimony, or anything like it. The closest we could find was a single comment that received no votes and was deleted within five minutes. Such speech is not tolerated on Reddit, and we will of course investigate any further claims of this nature. Congressman, we spend a lot of time at Reddit ensuring the authenticity of our platform. So we've got a large team dedicated to this exact task. Everything on Reddit, all of the content is created by users, voted on by users and ranked by users. And we make sure that that is authentic and as unmanipulated as possible. The unfortunate part of this episode is that ordinary investors who were convinced by a misleading frenzy to buy GameStop at $100, $200, or even $483 have now lost significant amounts. The idea that I use social media to promote GameStop stock to unwitting investors and influence the market is preposterous. My post did not cause the movement of billions of dollars into GameStop shares. When this frenzy began, Melvin started closing out its position in GameStop at a loss. We also reduced many other Melvin positions at significant losses. It is now our job to earn it back. It is tragic that some people lost money and my heart goes out to them. But what happened in January just demonstrates again that investing in public securities is extremely risky. Melvin Capital was not bailed out in the midst of these events. Citadel reached out to become a new investor. It was an opportunity for Citadel to buy low and earn returns for its investors. To be sure, Melvin was managing through a difficult time, but we always had margin excess and we were not seeking a cash infusion. When I wrote and spoke about GameStop and social media with other individual investors, our conversations were no different from people in a bar or in a golf course or at home talking or arguing about a stock. I will stress that Wall Street Bets is first and foremost a real community. The self-deprecating jokes, the memes, the crass at times language all reflect this. Wall Street Bets may look sophomoric or chaotic from the outside. And if you spend any time on Wall Street Bets, you'll find a significant depth to this community exhibited by the affection its members show one another. They are just as quick to support a fellow member after a big loss as they are to celebrate after a big gain. A few weeks ago, we saw the power of community in general and of this community in particular when the traders of Wall Street Bets banded together at first to seize an investment opportunity not usually accessible to retail investors, but later more broadly to defend all retail and investors against the criticism of the financial establishment. But the fact that we're here today means they've managed to raise important issues about fairness and opportunity in our financial system. I'm proud they use Reddit to do so. Hedge funds and other Wall Street firms have teams of analysts working together to compile research and analyze shares of companies. Individual investors do not have those resources. Social media platforms like Reddit, YouTube, and Twitter are leveling the playing field. In every metric we checked, the activity in Wall Street Bets was well within normal parameters and its moderation tools were working as expected. We do believe that this community was well within the bounds of our own policies.